What is up guys? Juan here with Grease Busters Cleaning. Today we are going to be tackling some rusty shingles. Um, it's going to be my first time really doing this, so I'm going to show you the process that I take to get it done. I'm going to be using Rust Aid by Goof Off. Um, it's a full concentrate. I don't need to dilute it at all. I bought five of these. I'm going to be applying it with my uh, diaphragm pump and I'm going to let it sit for 10-15 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it down. Hopefully it works out and we have a happy customer, but I did let them know that um, it may get a percentage of it off, but it's not going to be perfect just to, you know, give them a realistic expectation of what's going to get done. So enough talking, let's get started. This is the product we're using. It's $10. It's not with all the other chemicals um, in the Home Depot. It is not over by all the chemicals. It's actually in the plumbing aisle. Um, rust aid, outdoor, grief rust stains, gotta wear gloves, eye protection, respirator, all that stuff when applying. And yeah, hopefully it works out. And we get paid. And then there's more streaking up on this roof right here that I'll show you guys when I set on my other ladder. But let's get this started. As you can see, it's starting to work. I have to apply more over here. Definitely wear a mask when you guys are applying this, especially at such a high concentrate. It's really strong. All right, guys, so this is about 10 minutes and this stuff works really well. I do need to treat right here a little more, but they say to rinse it down afterwards. So I'm just gonna let it sit a little while longer and then rinse it down and show you what this looks like. And then I have a much heavier rush streak up on this roof that I'll show you guys next. As you can see, the rust remover did a great job cleaning up this. I'm gonna rinse it down and then this side will be done. It'll be on up there. Look at this roof streaking. Grease Buster's cleaning. We've had to tackle this. Guys, this is just three minutes after I applied. As you can see, the rust is just getting eaten up. I'm not recording while applying only because I am roughly 20 feet up right now. Hard to record, not worth recording on the ladder. But I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna tr quickly spot treat this area here. Now I'm gonna rinse it down. I'm gonna show you the afters. This is working out very well. All right, guys, so the rust is now treated. So now we're gonna go at this with a 4% mix of sodium hypochlorite to clean this up. As you can see, we already started. There's the difference of the before and after treated. That bird, that's pretty cool, right? Now I'm gonna switch over to a fan tip. Ooh, 
Look how dirty that is right there. As you can see, this is all treated versus untreated. All right, guys, look at this. That's a big rush streak there. Big rush streak here, all gone. Uh, Mel is rinsing down the siding really quickly just because some overspray on some plants. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna rinse this down like the chemicals call for, very light rinse, and then we're gonna be good. Uh, usually when we do normal roof washing, we let the chemicals dwell, but I'm just following chemical instruction here, so I'm just gonna do a light rinse down, uh, make sure all the gutters are good before we leave, and then we should be out of here. This uh, rust off worked pretty well, the rust aid. This is where all the streaking was, all down here, all up here, all gone. Obviously the cause of the rust is going to continue to have rust grow down the roof, the roof, not roof, but yeah, rust aid, full concentrate, no dilution, and it worked out really well, but it's extremely strong stuff, extremely harsh, has some sort of acid in it. And yeah, this is just from rinsing. I missed that spot when I rinsed right there, so it looks darker, but it's all treated. All right, guys, Juan with Grease Busters cleaning. Rust aid took care of this roof with zero issues, um, except for a strong smell of uh, rust aid, I guess. But until next time, guys, if you like the video, if you hate the video, drop a comment. Let me know. If you have any questions about the process that took place in this video that I didn't get to record, just drop a comment. I'll get back to everyone as fast as I can. Thank you, guys. Peace out. Keep making that money.